Starting in the half splits, we get a nice stretch for the hamstring of the front leg, but not too much is going on with the stretching of the back leg. Moving into the full split, you may want to have your students do a twisted monkey first, just to get the front of that hip stretched out. Then from here, she's going to kind of knee toe her back leg back, back, back. We'll find her edge for now and we'll slide a block underneath her hip. Now, traditionally, whatever that means in yoga, the outer hip of the back leg is reaching forward and the front hip is drawing back. Now, if you're a student or your student gets compression at the front of that hip, definitely having the hip squared will be the appropriate choice. Um, and well, let's start with the hip squared. So this would be the hip squared and the outer hip of the back leg is reaching forward. That'll keep the low back more even. But if you have a student who, you know, their joints are just great all around the hip and the low back, the cheerleader style splits is what I call it, having the back leg open. It can look prettier and for those students it can also feel better. Just make sure that they go into it with the awareness that there can be a tendency to cause some damage, the hip socket and the low back with the uh, cheerleader splits variation. We'll go back to the hip squared. Now for this one you want to make sure the back leg, untuck the toes, is in line with the hip so oftentimes there's a tendency to have that back leg veer out, keep it hugging in and that front heel is drawing back. And then from here, if your student is very bendy, you can lift them off the block and slide them down. She's still thinking of that back hip forward, front hip back. Maybe she goes into a forward fold.